Hey guys, good morning. So I look like a naked mole rat, but it is Friday morning and I'm about to get ready to go to Pennsylvania today to visit Sierra, it's her birthday. Um, I'm leaving a little bit later than I wanted to, but I guess I should get going. I'm not doing makeup, I'm just like blow drying my hair. I'm gonna hit the road. So I'm just about to leave, but I got some mail. The first thing I ordered, I ordered after I saw um, one of Jamie Page's videos. I think this is a Montreal based brand. It's called Alper Oils. Um, I got the Dream Beam one. It is a bunch of different oils. I've been really into just like lubing myself up all over with oil and like going to sleep wet because my skin has been so dry. Um, what really intrigued me about this one though is I think that there's like carrot, yeah, there's carrot seed oil and I've been really wanting to try that on my skin. A few weeks ago, I saw this ad on Facebook for this um, no BS skincare line and I bought this myself. I got the whole system because I really wanted to try it. I loved the video that they did. I don't know if they look, opened this and like searched it at the border. So I got their five piece set. So this one is the foaming cleanser, vitamin C and E serum. Moisturizer with SPF 20, day and night hyaluronic cream, and retinol night cream. I don't think I'm gonna bring a cleanser, but I think I'm gonna bring these. I'm really excited to try this brand, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Normally I do my makeup, how much? Four Canadian. Normally I do my makeup, but today I was like, not gonna do it. I left a little bit later, but uh, today is the first time that I'm driving. I flew in the summer. I drove in November and I drove in this past, the last time I went. So, okay, I'm gonna show you guys this bridge because I love this bridge, it's like my favorite part. As you guys know, Sierra is one of my best friends. Um, I have a very small group of friends and I've known Sierra since high school. We, it's actually funny, I think we have a best friend tag. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below from a few years ago. Cause she lives in Pennsylvania, I live in Montreal. Around like, we were planning on meeting about like halfway, at a halfway point. But then the weekend that we were gonna do it, um, she had she had to like leave work late and then be back on Sunday for this work thing. So it really wasn't worth it for like one day, like paying hotels and everything like that. So I was like, okay, like we'll postpone it. So then she texts, cause her birthday's on Saturday and I thought I was just gonna come. And she was like, uh, why don't you fly? And honestly, the reason why I drive is because I actually don't mind it, um, especially like during the spring and summer where it is not uh, like winter and like icy because that's what it was like the past couple times. Pretty much like one straight road for a while. So um, I was like, I'll just drive. Like I don't mind driving because I honestly feel like by the time I get to the airport, like two hours in advance, go through customs, go through security, get on the plane. And normally there's a connection. And then she lives like an hour away from the airport. So it's just like, it ends up being like such an ordeal that I was like, you know what, I'll just drive. I don't mind it. Um, I have to use like less than one tank of gas. So I'm at the border now, amping myself up. I don't even have a parking ticket. So I don't know why I always get so nervous, but it'll be fine. They're so much nicer at this border versus like the one in Plattsburgh or Burlington or Messina. So I really don't mind um, going through this border. There's no line. So should be in the USA very, very soon. Good morning, guys. Look where I am. Do you recognize where I am? It's the Hi. birthday girl. Just edited a video exporting. About to go shower. And then we have a full day of birthday festivities for the 18 year old. 14. 14. This morning I put on some baby facial that Sierra had and it like got all crusty and I like met her brother's friend and I was like crust all over. But anyways, I'm gonna go get ready now. Probably throw some quick makeup, probably do a low bun, call it a day. Very easy, simple look. I probably should change, I think I'm gonna change my bra before I leave, but this is just the outfit of the day. Very simple. We're just gonna go run some errands, do, do some apartment shopping. Woo! for Sierra, because she's moving into the apartment. And I'm just gonna show you quickly jewelry. I'm just wearing my Cartier Love Band, but we do have a similar ring available on CNC. Actually, I brought one for you. Do you have it? No. The one, the, just the gold band? Yeah. I'm gonna come show you. I brought Sierra a bunch of our new collections, so this is our Appella ring Sorry, on a pinky. Sorry, my hands are sausages. No, 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 no. This is the Appella pinky ring. The L'Amour ring, which kind of gives a similar vibe. Mm -hmm. And show the earrings. One. These are the unreleased earrings. Exclusive. Exclusive. 
Boomerang. And I'm oh, yeah. wearing the royal necklace. This is another little new piece that we're undecided on. And a leaky ring. That looks really good. Let's show that combo. This is our Soho ring and the Amour ring. Amish country. Amish country. It's Sierra's oh birthday, and the only thing she wanted to do today was go visit the Amish. And get some shoe flap hat. And get some shoe flap hat in Amish country. We're going to farmer's market. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna go to an outlet. furniture outlet. We're gonna go to West Elm and Pottery Barn outlet. But one thing I just wanna say, I don't want anyone to be offended. Uh -oh. Honestly, I don't think that Amish people have access to internet and computers. So I, love I, I have a, I just have a very deep fascination with different ways of life. There's See, a little clip of you saying, "I love Mormons." I love Mormons. The last time I love. You're here. I. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite episodes of Oprah was when her and Gail went to an yeah. Amish community, and Oprah was frying bacon and like churning yeah. butter. I remember. We should that. do that. I remember the episode so clearly. We should. We should do that. Oh Did my you God. ever do like Upper Canada Village? No, but I want to. We, okay. According to Wikipedia, the Amish are a group of traditionalist Christian church fellowships with Swiss, German, Anabaptist origins. They are closely related to but distinct from Mennonite churches. The Amish are known for simple living, plain dress, reluctance to adopt many conveniences of modern technology. But we, got, we got Arnold from an Amish family, and one of the reasons we broke him out of the barn because I was horrified that this little puppy was being kept in a barn with no electricity in January. Aww. Mm -hmm. No, like, stimuli. No dark. He, and, you know, it's messed him up. Arnold's my anxiety buddy. So it actually, his, mo his mother died before he could form a proper attachment to her. Aww. So he had, like, really bad attachment issues. I'm gonna read, I was an ex-Amish Reddit, and that's what I'm gonna Google all night tonight. Oh my gosh. Dutch look at oh, look, a windmill. A windmill. Guys, it's like you've never seen a windmill. <laughs> this is the best birthday of my life. I'm not even kidding. It is, but it's just started. It's just started. In Amish country. And then we country. can go and get some... No, 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 no. no, no, no. And, um, <laughs> I know what that... But look, it's a, this? Mom, this is an old steamboat, and it's a restaurant. What? It's an old... It's, it's like an, an old, old steamboat. Oh. Lost treasure. Sierra, look where we can go for your birthday. Mini golf. Well, on a boat. It would have been so <laughs> yeah. Amish. Yeah. Birthday girl going sh oh look the jewel. <laughs> Birthday go girl going shopping. Yeehaw! I like these. I don't know why I find this so cute. Mm. I don't really know what that is for. Like scarves in them? I really don't know. Candle? I mean I don't know. So Sierra found a couch and a table. I love these pillows. It's a pillow. Yeah. I love these pillows. So it's literally like her colors. Like if I were to imagine, like I need, you need like a rusty, yeah. like a it's color rusty. like that. Hey guys, so hey guys. I'm with Sierra. <laughs> a little drunk. tipsy, a little tipsy because we went for brunch and I had a mimosa on two mimosas. two mimosas on kind of an empty stomach and I never drink. So feeling good. Um, we were trying to go get tattoos, but they were pretty booked up. I just want to get my wrist tattoo like touched up because it kind of has been like fade it's a color tattoo which they fade they fade so I just want to get it like brightened up and Sierra's not sure I'm just feeling reckless today <laughs> so we're going to the mall now um not to like do the whole rigmarole but there's a few stores we wanted to go to as usual so we're heading there and then we might be going to um this yeah. tarot and psychic advisor because I'm really curious to know what color my aura is and just to learn more about myself because as you guys know I'm on this whole like wellness journey and I feel very in tune with myself for the first time ever so I'm very interested to know like my aura and like what energy I attract and my energy because I think it's cool to know if I were to think of you as a color I think it would be for some reason I feel like a lilac I don't know why. Color, so. Like I can, I just like calming, but like fun. Mm. I feel like my aura is orange. I have never like looked at this up, gotten and like I just feel orange. We'll keep you guys. We're gonna have a posted. day. Yeah, because we are gonna have a day. I'm hoping there's a Dior store, but well, if not, Neiman Marcus. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They'll have. A, hopefully, they'll have the shoes. I'm sure they have a Dior store. They have Louis. They have everything. I don't think so. Or Chanel. I don't think they have Dior though. I don't know why. I should look into it. But we're going to King of Prussia, which is a great mall. Tony would love it. Tony would shit herself. One time, Tony will come. Yeah. And uh, I have a sleeper now. Yeah. I got a lot of questions about what bras I like, and I heard about this bra, this company through KG, KG MTL. 
and I got some last time I was here and I love them. Um, so I'm gonna get a few more because they're literally like the only bras I like and they're a really good price. And I like the, um, I think this is the Bellissima. I'm not sure, but I really like these. These shoes, I don't understand. The barrette trend and this, I don't get. But Tony does look cute wearing them. I know, I want my feet to look smaller, not, but they actually don't look terrible. Like maybe not that color. You guys have been following me since I was a teen. I did a video, um, an all black outfit of the day, and I was wearing pumps. And in the beginning of the video, I said, never wear kitten heels. It was a Lauren Conrad quote. I still stand by that statement. Mm -hmm. Okay, this just goes to show that just because you did it first doesn't mean no one else can do it. Do you think Balenciaga's losing sleep? So if you guys watch The Morning Toast or are familiar with Heather McMahon, which you should be, um, she always raves about La Cologne and Sierra has like one that she gets from um, Wawa, like in a can. And we're like, oh, we need to find it. We saw this sign and we're like, we need to find it. And it's right here. So I don't know what I'm gonna get, but we'll get something. So I'm at Target now, I just came. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this skirt because I wore a bit skirt very similar to this um, in when I was in Punta Cana. A lot of you guys asked where I got it. It was actually Tony's. It's by Levi's. She gave it to me. But Target has a really cute option for like 15 bucks. I'm not going to look at clothes though because I'm here without Sierra. So we'll do this tomorrow. But I wanted to look for these shoes that she had and I wore. Oh God, I hate looking. Okay, Universal 3. Let me look. So they have them. These are them. I'm getting them in a size eight. Looks like they orange too. I love this bra. Super cute. Small. Do they have? Oh shit. Small would fit. Love yellow. I'm whispering because I'm like alone and shy, but I want to look at the PJs. Stars above. What's this line? It looks like vomit. Okay. I love this color. Oh, they're so soft. I don't need it. I have to make a quick stop at Whole Foods, of course. I love this Whole Foods. It's so nice. So Sierra and I just went to Whole Foods and we got a bunch of these shots. It smells like dog food. But we are both trying Vital Proteins. They're a new collagen shot. So this has seven grams of collagen. When you turn 24 and these are your new shots. Oh, this one smells good. <gasps> oh, that's not that bad. I was being dramatic. That does smell good. This one like burns the back of my throat. I'm scared. <laughs> so I realized that while I was shopping in PA, I didn't show you guys the shoes that I was looking for and ended up getting. Whenever I go to Pennsylvania, I always go to Neiman Marcus. They have the best customer service. They don't make me, ugh, I just hate shopping in Montreal. I don't like the vibes in Montreal anywhere right now. So I love going out of Montreal because everyone's so much nicer. A few months ago, my sister went to Miami and she got a pair of shoes, uh, these shoes, but in, I think she got them in the uh, like burgundy they're looking a little bit more this is like pretty much true to tone so i saw these on her instagram and i was like i don't care i need these i'm gonna find these um i'm really into pink right now i'm really into color right now um maybe that's a little signe hint for you guys but i also loved how this i don't know if you can see is like olive and so i just loved these i thought they were so cute so i decided to get them and also on pa there's no sales tax which is really great i guess i'll put them on even though my toes aren't nice i wasn't gonna show you guys them on because my toes are so bad i need to go get a pedicure but this is just what they look like on Another thing that I've been getting a lot of questions about are my nails. So I have to thank my sister, Tony for introducing me to this brand. I'll link them down below. And I think if you use my link, you get $5 off your first purchase and I get points. So I'm just going to be transparent with you guys, but I couldn't find a coupon code when I wanted to order. So at least this way you guys can get $5 off. I have been doing my nails with these glue on kits from the pharmacy 
and then I would just paint them myself. Now this worked great. Sometimes painting them can get, can get annoying because you know how nail polish is. It can get little indents and just not look as good. Tony started going to the pharmacy or Walmart and finding um, just like press on nails by different brands. And then she came across this brand called Static Nails and I'm actually wearing the white pair. And I just realized, and I think it's so fun how the packaging is very similar to like Kylie Cosmetics, like a very cool vibe. You can go to Pharmapri or any sort of drugstore and find some, some of my favorite nails, like the shape, the color, everything, the one that I had been wearing that you guys were asking so much about, that was from Pharmapri. So whenever I'm in a store and I just see a nice press on nail color and a shape and color that I like, I'll just pick it up because this is how I'm doing my nails lately. So um, this is the white one. And then I also got, I don't know the colors of these, but they restock pretty often. I'm excited for these. This is like a nice baby pink, a nice nude. They have different shapes. Like this one is, I think it's shorter. This one, this one, this one. I have a lot. So um, I ordered them and shipped them to Sierra just because I thought it'd be quicker, but you can. Um, I actually paid for like two day shipping and they didn't ship within two days, but as a business owner myself, I, I don't know. It's not that I give people like a pass or whatever. I just know that when you're a small business, sometimes things are out of your control. Sometimes hiccups come up, it's not their fault. And so I wasn't gonna be like, give me my money back for the shipping. But a little bit of understanding, I think can always benefit some people. Other than that, I don't feel like I did too much shopping. Um, I did get the Kylie Cosmetics uh, bronze palette because I swatched it and thought it was really pretty. And in the Jaclyn Hill palette, there's this like orangey color that I've just been so drawn to lately. And then I did get the five piece Jaclyn brush set. I don't know where the other one is. I have the eye set and I've been using the eye set probably since November and I love them. They're just really great brushes. I don't have a Morphe code. I'm not like a Morphe affiliate. I really love the Jaclyn Hill palette and the brushes. And then at Sephora, I got this Pat McGrath gloss called Peach Perversion. I love this gloss. Another little thing I got at Sephora, I didn't go too crazy. It's by, by this brand Kaja. I just thought it was cool because it was basically, I feel like this reminds me of something I had in my childhood, but it has like a champagne-y sort of color and then a pretty bronzy color in the middle and then like a darker, oh my God, like how gorgeous is that? And they are so beautiful on the lid and just like sparkly and great for adding some, um, they're just beautiful, so I love this. Uh, what else did I get? I didn't really didn't get too much while I was in PA this time. Flower Beauty Concealer, because Casey Holmes really likes it, and she's like my favorite YouTuber, uh, like beauty YouTuber. And then I did get the Isogenics, oh my God, Oxygenetics, Oxygenating Foundation. This is a foundation I had heard KG talk about forever, but then I saw Kourtney Kardashian's video, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna order it. So I got it in the color beige, and it matches really well. So yeah, I mean, I got some stuff at Trader Joe's, um, like the cookie butter. I love these tamari soy sauce, savory thin mini rice crackers. They are so good. I did get this Mega Babe Daily Deodorant uh, Rosy Pits. I received Pharmacy's new deodorant, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but um, I've heard a few people really recommend this one, and this has no, no aluminum, no parabens. I've tried a bunch of different natural deodorants and now I'm just like in a mood. I'm very into body care right now, which is weird for me um, because I was never someone who really moisturized regularly or anything like that, like on my body, but now I just am really into my body. I even got this thing called boob tube. I think I was reading Poosh or maybe looking up like Kourtney Kardashian body care. And I think it was Chloe who posted that um, even though she's not pregnant, I'm not pregnant. She put this on her boobs and chest and really liked it. So I decided to order it too. 